in the name of almighty allah the most gracious the most merciful as muhammad is be upon me narrated if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge almighty allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise hello everyone this is a dr tarim sud thank you very much for watching my videos and your exceptional support to make the channel a grand success we are a partner a family please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert a challenges into opportunities and opportunity into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large thank you very much for your precious time before my lecture i used to read a quranic verse qala rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halal uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli allahumma rabbi zidni ilma oh my lord open my chest and is my task for me and loose or not from my tongue that they may understand my sayings allahumma rabbi zidni ilma oh allah advance me in my knowledge and true understanding thank you very much for your precious time on my next slide i will dedicate this my lecture to faculty members and student who contribute during my lecture and later on i will explain the key takeaway points and my future plan to deliver a 300 lecture on on oil and gas production or oil and gas industries okay my lecture is dedicated to faculty members and student departments of chemical environment engineering at gct and nfcit multan in particularly late professor dr said ahmed rest in peace and professor dr afzal haq former vice chancellor and pioneer of nfcit multan pakistan former vc at nnd uet karachi and professor dr tahri imran qureshi master of organ chemistry number 3 faculty member and student departments of petroleum chemical engineering texas a&m college station and qatar campus faculty members and student department of chemical engineering gas processing center and industrial engineering at qatar university management and operation and maintenance staff members of parker fertilizers and ogdc pakistan in particular qadarpur gas processing field agot ki sind pakistan last but not least i'm very much indebted and pay my deep gratitude to senior executive management and operation and maintenance staff members at qatar petroleum from 1997 to 2020 with great privilege and honor i have completed 24 years of my glorious career at different levels and positions at qatar petroleum thank you very much for everyone for your unprecedented support and believe on me is my future plan to deliver a uh, more than 300 lectures on oil and gas productions today we are going to discuss introductions facilities and processes reservoir and wellhead upstream facilities midstream facilities refining facilities petrochemicals utility systems conventional and unconventional resource environment effects what is the ultimate goal shaping the clean and sustainable global energy delivery and probably we will deliver to more than 300 lecture next couple of years okay this is very important slide it demonstrate my personal contributions for a 24 years with qatar petroleum remember all my career i moved against the wind and everything i took as a challenge and i never accept the defeat okay by using artificial intelligence a following in house systems developed and implemented successful without any external internal vendor support led to save million dollar a qr for qatar petroleum first i have developed uh, and published operation excellence 20 initiatives framework and tours number 2 develop and implemented flaring surveillance model to monitor and measure a flaring incident in a real time operation whereas it captures each molecule of hydrocarbon released from the plant due to any reason number 3 develop and implemented a gas lift management system to overcome gas lift injection deficiency and added 8 to 10000 barrel oil every day Number four, gas lift injection and gas balance dashboard developed. Number fifth, developed and implemented a chemical surveillance model to monitor and measure required chemical 
At each injection point, Dad read Korean inhabitor optimized and saved more than 30% capital consumptions. Number six, actionable department voice production dashboard. Number seven, actionable OMD dashboard linked with CU dashboard. Number eight, develop implement a power water injection management system in real time operations. Number nine, develop and customize CPM control performance monitor to optimize and enhance equipment performance in order to achieve zero trip incidents. Number ten, develop and implement a real time engineering workstation to optimize equipment performance and to address all types of operation bottlenecks and process control issues. Number 11, develop and implement a real time equipment performance monitoring systems. Number 12, a long list of e reporting systems to save a man hour where time is money. Number 13, a long list of well testing model for crude and recovery performance enhancement. Please send me email if you have any question or query about these systems. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, this is my lecture number three. Today I am going to discuss onshore and offshore facilities. This is part one and in part two we will discuss in more detail. Okay, key takeaway points lecture number three. First, we will discuss onshore production facilities, offshore production facilities, which constituted a shallow water complex, gravity based complaint towers, and floating production. Okay, oil and gas production. On onshore production facilities, what is basically first economical viability, viable, number two, oil and gas, and production. Onshore production is economical viable from a few dozen of oil day and upward. Oil and gas are produced from several million wells worldwide. In particular, a gas gathering network can become a very large with production from thousands of wells several hundred kilometer miles apart, feeding through a gathering network into a processing plant or called the gas or gas oil separation plant. If you can see the picture demonstrating here, it is well equipped with sucker or rod pump, a donkey pump often associated to produce the oil. However, as we shall see later, there are many other ways of extracting oil from non-free flowing well. For the smallest reservoirs, oil is simply collected in a holding tank and picked up at regular intervals by tanker, truck or rail car to be process at refinery or gas station for further processing. On my next slide, we will discuss onshore wells, how they are being functioning with rich oil areas. Okay, oil and gas production. Now we are going to discuss onshore wells in oil rich areas. Okay, onshore production wells, first capacity, then uh, gas gas oil separation plant, then we will discuss a pipeline and tanker to, to carry the oil up to the processing unit. Okay, onshore wells in oil rich areas are also high capacity wells producing a thousands of barrels per day connected with the gossip station and gossip station designed based on the capacity of the well producing wells. It could be 100,000 barrels, 50,000 barrels, 60,000, depend how many wells are connected with the gossip station. Okay, basically the product is sent from the plant by pipelines on tankers. The production may come from many different license owners who are in the field or processing unit. So the metering of the individual wells steams into gathering network are important task. Okay, on my next slide, I'm going to discuss unconventional players to produce oil and gas product. Okay, onshore unconventional, first a tar sands, then a separate batments and shale gas and liquid. Unconventional applies a target very highly crude and tar sands that became economical acceptable with higher price and a new technology. Heavy crude may need heating and diluents to be extracted. Tar sands have lost their volatile compounds and are stripped mined or can be extracted with steam. It must be further processed to separate bitmen from the sand. In 2017, a drilling technology and 
fracturing of the reservoir have allowed shale gas and liquid to be produced to increase volume. This allows in United States in particularly reduced dependency on hydrocarbon imports. Canada, China, Argentina, Russia, Mexico and Australia also rank among the top unconventional players. These contains more than two to three times the hydrocarbon found in the conventional reservoirs. Okay. Now, on my next slide, we will further discuss what are the offshore demand stated. Offshore production, important size, water depth and different structure. A whole range of different structures is used offshore depending on size and water depth. In the last few years, we have seen a poor sea bottom installation with multi-phase of piping to shore and no offshore topside structure at all. Replacing outlaying well head towers, deviation or drilling is used to reach different parts of reservoir from a few wellhead cluster locations. Some of common offshore structures which we are going to discuss on my next slide. Gas production shallow water complex first characterized gangway bridge and third wellhead risers okay the shallow water complex which is characterized by several independent up platforms with different parts of the process and utilities linked with a gangway bridge individual platforms bridges Individual platform includes wellhead rises, processing, accommodation, and power generation platforms. Okay, this picture demonstrates a BP well hall complex, the typical found in water depth up to 100 meter. Okay, on my next slide, we are going to discuss gravity based complex. First, we will talk about a gravity based platform. It constituted with structures large dick and storage cells okay gravity base consists of enormous concrete fixed structures placed on bottom typical with oil storage cell in a skirt that rest on the sea bottom the large dick receives all parts of the process and utilities in a large modules or large field at 100 to 500 meters water depth were typical in 1980 and 1990 the concrete was poured at the onshore location with inf air in the storage cells to keep the structure floating until tow out and lowering onto the seabed. This picture demonstrates a GPS platforms or trawl in during constructions by the state oil. Okay, on my next slide, we will discuss what are the complaint or towers. Okay, oil and gas production. Complete towers. It constituted first a narrow towers, flexible and rigid legs. Okay. The complete towers are much alike fixed platform. They consist of narrow towers attached to the foundation on the sea floor and extended up to the platform. This tower is flexible as opposed to the relatively rich legs on the fixed platform. Flexible allows it to operate in much deeper water as it can absorb much of the pressure exerted by the wind and sea. Complete towers are used between 500 to 1000 meter of water depth. Okay, this was my last slide. Thank you very much for your precious time. On my next slide, we will discuss what we have concluded or today. We have discussed onshore production facilities, offshore production facilities, shallow water complex, the gravity based complex, and complaint or tower or platforms. Thank you very much for your precious time. On my next lecture, more detailed offshore facilities, attention like platforms, semi submersible platforms, spares, and subsea production systems. So references World Energy Order 2013, US Geological Survey, US Department, Schellenberger Oil Fields, International Energy Agency, 
Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, Margin Well Commissioning, Pompous Manual, State Hall, Norsic, Strafe Oil in Pennsylvania, Air, Liquid Gas, Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from the Wellhead to Burnett. Together, everyone achieve more. Please don't hesitate. Send me your feedback and comments at t.masood.dr at bath.edu. Please stay at home, stay safe, inspired and blessed. Thank you very much for your precious time.